Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is my three weeks post-op video. I had surgery with Dr. Charles Garamoni on November 6th, 2009. Yesterday, the 27th of November, was three weeks post-op. So I'm going to show my chest, but first I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what the complication that I developed. I developed what's called a seroma, and it happens in 1 in 10 guys who had the surgery. And it, it's pretty common in mastectomies. A seroma is basically caused when... Uh, a large mass is removed from the body during surgery, um, and what's left is a large empty space inside the body. And the body's natural way of uh, of filling that space is to fill it with this sterile fluid that the body uh, creates, I guess. It's just pretty much a hassle, and um, you have to end up binding again uh, to compress the chest uh, to slow down the, the, the fluid from building up, and you have to go and you have to get it drained. And luckily, Dr. Garamoni lives, or his office is only an hour from where I live, so I have had to make six trips in the last month. That's including pre-op and consultation and surgery and post-op. I have to go back on Tuesday to get them drained again. Basically, it looks like when you poke at it, it looks like a waterbed effect. Elliot on YouTube and Caleb on YouTube, um call it a water boob and you know they joke around about it but it's caused a lot of dysphoria for me because it's like welcome back girls you know it's been really hard for me it feels like my body's rejecting the one thing that I feel like I did right to my body it's like my body's turned its back on me again and it really sucks and most guys only have to get it drained once or twice but I've had to go and get it drained twice already and I'm gonna have to go again and get it drained and Probably again and again and again and again over the next couple weeks. Um, which sucks because it's a lot of gas money, a lot of toll money, and it's a lot of trying to find rides because I don't have a car. My nipples. My left nipple, which, like I said, is the side that had less problems with the seroma. Um, my left nipple is healing very nicely. My right nipple has... Um, I think it might be getting infected. I'm not sure. Um, but there's definitely a hole in the center of the nipple, and I'll show you guys that. I'm going to have Dr. Garamoni look at my left nipple, which is the one that I think is infected. Have him look at it on, um, on, on Tuesday when I go. That's Jen's day off. My girlfriend, that's her day off, so she's going to take me. Oh, one thing that I wanted to note, uh, since I had my surgery, um, my body hair has been coming in a lot faster. I'm having to shave a lot faster. I've got chest hair that I didn't have before. Um, it's coming in thick and dark and, like, a lot, which I'm quite happy with. My girlfriend, not so much. And my facial hair is coming in a lot faster and a lot thicker. Um, it's still, most of it is still blonde, but underneath here I've got black stubble coming in. Um, and I'm having to shave daily now. Like, I mean, like, I get stubble by the end of the day, so, um, that's cool. I'm balding. Since surgery, I don't know what happened, but my hairline is thinning out. I mean, not my hairline, but, like, my hair in general is just, like, thinning out. Like, you can't really see it. I don't, I don't think you can see it with this lighting. Let's see. I never had real, uh, real thin hair before. I always had really, really, really thick hair. I've also got acne coming in a lot more, um, which totally sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll go ahead and show my chest now. Um, be back in a jiffy. Alright, so this is my chest. Um, three weeks post-op. Uh, I am allergic to the band-aids that I'm using. Um, I'm allergic to the adhesive, which is actually band-aid brand. Uh, also, a sign of the seroma is they. I mean, uh, a side effect of the seroma is that it can make your skin sensitive. So that might be why. Because I mean, I grew up using um, what's it called? Uh, using Band Aid brand, and I've never had a problem with the adhesive before. But for some reason, I'm I've got a rash where the adhesive goes. Uh, this is my chest three weeks post op. I do have some dog ear. <sighs> my camera's reversed. Um, I do have some dog ears on the sides. Um, that are a little bit visible, not too bad though, um, and I'll get those taken care of, most likely I'll have a revision done and get those taken care of. My incisions are very small, um, 
you can see what looks to be like um like stretched out skin but those are stretch marks it's not anything that that garamoni did it's just i had a lot of stretch marks on my chest uh before surgery my incisions are very small though um i think i mentioned it before he didn't have to he didn't have to connect the incisions um this side is my better side uh, as far as the healing goes um, and this side is my worst side, which is gonna, um, scar pretty badly, I'm sure. All of my incisions, or all of my, um, uh, what's it called? What's that shit called? All of my stitches, I believe, are out on the incisions. I don't see any. Um, so that's good, and I've only got a couple incisions. See, look at this. Look at this. That, that does not look normal. That definitely does not look normal. That's a big old hole in my nipple. And that's my left nipple. So I need to get that taken care of. And this is my right nipple, which looks a lot better. Um. Okay, so let me show you what the seroma is. I hope that the camera can, can capture it, but it basically... Okay, so this is my worst side, so I'll show this side. But yeah, you can see that. You know, and it's just with very light touches. It looks like a waterbed. Um, it doesn't. You don't really see it on the sides here. Um, it doesn't hurt or anything. It did hurt at first, but that's all just that's all fluid in there. Um, so that needs to get drained again. This has been my worst side. And then this side is doing it too now, but you can you can very you can only see it a little bit on this side. But this side is also the side that was starting to bruise. Um Oh you can see it when I do it there. This is the area that's that's starting to bruise. You can't really see it on the camera at all, but this area here is starting to bruise pretty bad. Um it's got that green color to it. Um and it's poked out in this area right here, it's poked out. Um, because all of the weight is going there. So, um, as far as the stitches go on my nipples, I have what looks to be about three left on this nipple. This looks really, really bad. Like, really bad. Like, I just took my stitches off, or my, um, my bandages off, and that does not look good at all. I need to get right into Garamoni on Tuesday. Um, and then this side, I only have... What looks to be one stitch. Um, maybe a couple. Maybe a couple stitches left on that side. But, um, as far as feelings go, um, I feel all of this. All of this I can feel. I can feel all this. Um, the only things that I can't feel are right on the incision. I feel right around here gets numb. Um, and here's numb. I can feel it if somebody touches it, but it's still really, really numb. Um, but as far as sensation goes, I can feel... somebody were to touch me here, I can feel that. Um, I'm still not touching my nipples at all. Like, I will not touch my nipples because I don't want them to get infected or anything. But I, I can feel everywhere, um, except for right along the incision line. Um, I can still feel that something is touching it. But I can't feel, like, I don't really feel it. But I feel that there's that there's something touching it. Um, yeah. Oh, and I've gotten chest acne, which I never had before. Um, I'm starting to get chest acne now. So, that's my chest. And, um, yeah, three weeks post-op. And I'm still very, very, very happy with the results. Um, I'm really happy with them. Like I said, these are not stretched out skin from the in, from the work that he did um it's just i had stretch marks these are all stretch marks on top here um yeah so and i still got a lot of swelling um it's still real puckered out right here and of course due to this aroma i'm still all swollen up um but that'll go away over time uh yeah take it easy guys